Um, one of the things that I'm hearing a lot of right now, an awful lot of, is people saying that wolves are becoming aggressive with humans. What do you think? <laughs> I know these guys, like I said, have such a powerful fear of what I, uh, they know I'm man. They have such a powerful fear of my doing anything different or out of the ordinary and anything that looks threatening to them. Mm -hmm. Eddie. But see, what I'm suspecting is when people are out camping and they say a wolf came up to the campsite or a wolf snarled at a person or anything like that, my strongest suspicion is that these are not really wolves. Yes, that would be mine too. My first thought would be that's mixed with a dog. He's huge. He's the big, big boy here. He's the big, big boy, aren't you, Eddie? Yeah. This is Uncle Ed. Uncle Ed was named after our founder's uncle. We let the family name one. And they picked the one that got now see he doesn't like me at all. He's I call not him happy that I'm here. I call him Big Butt. <laughs> can you see why? Oh yeah. <laughs> but he's looking at me with a great deal of suspicion. But I do say it affectionately so he doesn't care. <laughs> you know what, he doesn't have a translation. Um, we need to talk for a couple of minutes about hybrids because I think that's a major, major problem. We get a lot of calls that people think they saw a wolf. First, my first uh, suspicion in this area is coyote. And then I invite him out to see the wolf. Oh no, this was really bigger He's than beautiful. a wolf. He yeah. is gorgeous. And what happens is, once you mix that dog with wolf, now you've got an animal that most likely lost the majority of his fear of man, but has all the wild behaviors and instincts. That's a dangerous animal. He's not afraid of approaching you. And we have, very frank, I'm going to walk over and take a look at him. I don't want to cut you off, but I'm dying to see Hi, him. Hi, Comet. Hi, Comet. It's okay. I won't hurt you, big boy. Hi, Comet. I'm going to back off. I'm not going to do anything that will scare you. You want to come over and see me? No, you don't. Do you? There you go. Good boy. Comet is our ce oops, celebrity wolf. He has been designated as the official um, mascot for new radio station, AM 920 The Wolf in Milwaukee. So they've asked that he, he be their mascot. He is magnificent. He loves to sing. Uh -huh. He just looks for any so excuse. So he sings on the radio, huh? <laughs> well, he hasn't sung on the radio yet, but any time any, either him or Mona will start the howls. If she starts, he joins. He'll be the first to join in. He really loves to sing. Hello, sweetheart. So Hello. here's the thing. What do you think of hybrid wolf hybrids as pets? I don't think they make good pets unless you treat them as a wild animal. You don't let little kids around them. You don't let a lot of people around them you always show them courtesy respect and you don't try to train them you don't try to uh, subjugate them yeah yeah you, you because these animals cannot be trained or tamed and if it's a hybrid it has all the wild behaviors and instincts it'll go through all those cyclical behaviors that the pure wolf does but like I said the major thing is it's lost the fear of man yeah where I mean, you could go into a den in the wild, you could take the cubs out of a den and the adults would not attack you. That's a really powerful fear of mm -hmm. man, because mm -hmm. any wild animal really protects their young. But I believe they don't do that because if you kill their cubs, they can reproduce the next year, which is a major difference between them and a the hybrid. They only breed once a year. Mm -hmm. um, but if they risk their life coming to save those cubs, they all could die, and there's no propagation of the species. Hi, my sweet little so it's boy. So okay. protecting. Yes. Um, we are running out of time. I know we are. So I want you to take some time. What does the society need? Obviously, cash donations are great. Yes. Uh, volunteers help do you need always we are all it's like a revolving door people come some of them get so enthused they want to spend a lot of time here then they get burned out and they don't come at all so then someone else starts up so we always are looking so for volunteers, volunteers and in dollars are both very important yes okay you want to give people the address the phone number you are open to the public you do do tours and education yes we're open to the public on Saturday and Sunday from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Um, I do large school groups and daycare centers during the week but they have to call ahead to make an appointment mm -hmm. 
Our address is 6669 South 76th Street, and that's in Greendale, Wisconsin. It's right next to the ski hill. Right. And we're only a mile and a half um, south of one of the major uh, malls here in Milwaukee. So, Phone number people can reach you at? 414-425-8264. Now, I know we're just about out of time, so I'm going to say thank you. Thank you for coming. It's good to see you. We're going to save the pet and see the dogs and cats that are looking for home.